What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Deontay, the Bronze Bomber, Wilder, Malik Scott, Team Wilder. Get this. Deontay Wilder's trainer <coughs> rules out heavyweight clash. It's dead. He's uh, Prior to that, the Bronze Bomber had lost and failed to regain his title in closing chapters of his trilogy with Fury. And Deontay Wilder has been out of the ring since a sensational first round knockout. Despite confirming his intentions to fight on with Hellenius KO, his time <clears throat> since has been anything but active. In November, the WBC ordered him and Andy Ruiz a fight. We know what happened with that. And the back and forth has continued, but speaking to Little Giant Boxing, Wilder's trainer Malik Scott confirmed that the fight was officially dead. Wow. He said, that's dead. Andy don't want to fight Deontay and his way of saying it was asking for 20 or $30 million for a fight that you don't deserve 20 or $30 million for. Hiding behind the business is what he did. And I truly believe he never really wanted to fight Deontay, but it was a good sales pitch and something to keep his name going. Okay. Well, let me counterpunch. It's dead. Okay. Nothing's new. Uh, I do agree. Malik Scott and crew and company, I think they need to worry more about the fight that they're anticipating having and hoping that happens. But see, this is what happens when you bank on that one fight and that fight may not happen and it may not always be because someone's ducking. It could be, like they said, the money's not there. You know, Skills Challenge may not want to sign a deal for Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder to fight without an incentive, without a reward without a destination because see whoever wins out of Joshua and Wilder what does that really mean <clears throat> we'll just know who's better or we'll know who will win on that night right so that's it there won't be a belt on the line there won't be any tournament to see well what does what do they do from here type shit like it won't be any of that you know even if there it's a two fight deal like well hey the battle of Africa if they fight and they if they can fight in Africa it's like okay well what happens then what guarantees the winner to get a crack at the belts to become undisputed? Because I think that's overall what Saudi Arabia and Prince Khalid wants to do. They want to do these type of fights without those type of with those type of uh, uh, strings attached. They want to because it's necessary to sell the fight, and then we will see who's the supreme fighter in the sport. And it may not be. Uh, Alexander Usyk, or it may not be Tyson Fury either. It damn sure won't be Tyson because Tyson's not interested in it anymore. He's trying to do his exhibition bullshit, you know, <clears throat> which that's wrong to do for so many levels. And I'm not going to talk about Tyson each and every fucking video. But as far as Andy Ruiz, yeah, the fight's officially dead. It's just official. You know, and Andy, I, I don't understand Andy, though, because now he's saying I'll do it for $10 million. I'm like, okay, that's half of the amount of money that you asked for the first time, apparently. But then it's like, you know, he claims that they're trying to offer him a million dollars. So, you know, I don't really know because everyone's saying something different, and I hate it when that happens. You know what I mean? And see, Andy won't come forth and say, and, and to me, people, I think Andy has a lot of explaining to do. I mean, the man has a lot of explaining to the masses. Okay, first of all, let's backtrack. What did you actually ask for Tyson Fury or what did Tyson Fury actually offer you? How much money? Let's start from there versus how much you asked it or you countered with because it had to be some and it had to be a fucking offer. And then from that offer, you either had the counter offer right? Or said something way past the offer amount. If he did that, okay, it was dead in the water anyway, because Tyson Fury's cheap as shit. He's not going to budge for anybody. That's if he want, even wants to fight him. I don't believe he did anyhow, you know, but at least we will have Andy Ruiz's side on how much he asked for versus how much was offered. You know what I mean? So we can start there. Second, now let's go to this Deontay Wilder breakdown. How much did they really offer him? Was that the truth? How can you prove it? Why don't you put this, put him on front street? Like motherfucker, I never asked for $20 million. What do you, what's wrong with you? And then if he did ask for $20 million, he's 
ducking. Like my man Showbiz, duck <laughs> Right? So, yeah, I, I, it, because there's no reason you should ask for that much money and you never made that much money for one fucking fight. Sure, I know you should get paid more than the Chris Ariel or the Luis Ortiz fight. Sure, I'm, I'm down for that. Yes, because it's Deontay Wilder you're fighting. But not 20 million fucking dollars. What's wrong with you? Get out of here. Right? It's, it's, it's preposterous. So I wouldn't want that. But I would like to at least know what the breakdown was. See, there's not enough people that do that. See, if you're really sure of your own negotiations, you know there's no fault in you, you know you are reasonable and you know you are willing and you are flexible to negotiate with the other side, I think you should break that down bit by bit, especially if it's supposed to be dead in the water. Nothing wrong with that. I don't see if you... Uh, why you shouldn't and if you can't there's a reason why you can't because there's something shitty or rotten in Denmark but anyway you guys tell me what you think of Team Wilder stating that the Andy Ruiz fight is officially dead of course please subscribe and you guys been Counterpunch peace